Thanks for staying with us here on Joy News Prime. Now about 800 boarding students from the South Pond Methodist High School risk losing their boarding status due to a dilapidated dormitory infrastructure in the school. The girls have to keep vigil and pack their books and other academic materials to safety whenever it rains because the dormitory leaks badly and has also developed cracks. The Parent Association of the school says their children have been making distress calls to them about the disturbing situation. Richard Kojinako visited the school in our reports. This is a dormitory block here at the Sawpong Methodist High School. This very block houses three houses and the inhabitant may be forced to go home or commit from home if nothing is done about the integrity of the building. Not only does the building leak terribly when it rains, but what compounds the problem are cracks that are all over the building. To say the students are worried is an understatement. They say the situation has made life unbearable on campus. Um, the ceilings, they are in a very bad state. When it rains, we can't stay inside. Sometimes we have to pull the beds for it. Sometimes we have to remove our beds from there the case of the bed, where we put our bed. There is leakage when it rains, they have to stay awake so that it's next to money. Like, we are, we are really suffering. We are really suffering. It saddens me. It falls directly into our room. It seems there is no roof. In. It's so wrong. Like, it's... it's when it rains, we really suffer. We really suffer. Sometimes, and the bed bags, and it's really... Um, heartbreaking. During the night, you see some of the place leaking, and it really makes our things, our stuff go wet. And people had their things very wet, and a lot of things happened. Their lockers, water entered to their lockers, and they had their provisions and everything messed up. Apart from the dormitory block that has issues, the science block of the school suffers even more serious issues. This, they say, has a huge impact on the academic work on campus. Especially in our chemistry and physics labs and the biology as well, the rain sweeps here into the room and the room just gets flooded. So it's, it becomes very difficult for us to take uh, practicals. By the time you come from the dormitory here for practicals, the place will be flooded. Dennis Brown teaches here. He is distraught about the situation and wants an urgent support for the school. You know, We've made a report to management and we've tried uh, some repair works, petty, petty ones, but because of the season we found ourselves in, that was two months ago, the moment we do the temporary structures to help the students to do practicals, it gets spot again. The whole place gets flooded. Yes, flooded. We feel very bad as teachers, but there's nothing we can do. We just have to try and impact the knowledge. Some of these things goes beyond our efforts. There's nothing we can do. And we can't say, because of that, we are not going to teach. So we teach. That is it. So we teach. If we have to stand in it to conduct WASI for the external provider to also come and see this thing, we all day inside. The Parent Association Chairman of the school, Isaac Kweku Grandson, says the development is worrying and must be given an urgent attention. He says as parents, they have pulled resources to enable them to tackle the problem. But the issue appears bigger than their efforts. I also had distress calls from the parents. And then we came here, or we had a look at it. And first, we went to the um, municipal NADMO office. We went to the MCE's office and the uh, municipal director of education's office. They told us to put it into writing. We've done that, we are saying uh, we'll hear from them, not heard from them yet. And then the calls that comes, um, there are many. The student will, say, will tell you, Daddy, uh, we will, we will not be able to sleep. We don't sleep during the night. And then when we see that the rains are coming, we have to run from the classroom to come and put our things in order. And it is very pathetic. I've limited all my prayers to two. That it shouldn't rain. And the other one that some one somewhere to come and help. 
because um, as a parent and as a PTA chairman, I, I don't sleep when I hear calls that my school is deteriorating. The school authorities appear disturbed by the situation but declined comment on the development. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejenyakon, Cape Coast.